In this video, let's see an important topic which is called as derivative or differentiation of f at x for a given function f of x. Now we already know how to find the derivatives and we have already seen few derivatives that x raised to the power n is a standard uh, type of question wherein the formula would be nx raised to the power n minus 1. Similarly, the derivative of a constant is 0 with respect to a variable, the derivative of variable with respect to itself is 1 and so on. This we have already done in our previous class of class 11. But if you do not remember the formulas and you know the useful results of differentiability that we studied in 1, 2 videos previous to this video, you might know that even that knowledge is helpful when we need to go about the limits in all case. What I am saying if you are not understanding, I mean to say that suppose you have been given an example wherein your fx is equal to x cube. Now this x cube plus say x is given to you and you see this is kind of a polynomial expansion or a polynomial expression. The polynomial expression wherein now I need to find out f dash x. So f dash x would be what? You can always go about the formula of xn, d by dx of xn is a formula that we studied in our junior class was nx raised to the power n minus 1. So the answer would be 3 will come forward x square plus 1 which is 3x square plus 1, right? This we already did. But if you do not remember this formula, then how to go about this? There are many formulas. You have to memorize definitely for easier calculations and quick purposes but if you don't remember how to do it. The standard results which we studied earlier, the useful results on differentiability which told you polynomial functions, constant functions, logarithmic functions, trigonometric functions, inverse trigonometric functions, composition of functions, algebra of functions and so on, these are all differentiable. So, if you have a kind of function which is called as fx or a function, that function is given to you, it is differentiable in its domain, differentiable everywhere in its domain, then you can use either this formula or you can use this formula. What is this formula? Limit f of x plus h minus fx upon h where the limit is h tends to 0 or f of x minus h minus fx. See earlier it was plus h, here it is minus x. The difference is denominator is h, denominator is minus h. These two formulas or any of one you can use, the answer will be same and you will get the differentiation of that. That means if you do not remember this formula, even then you can solve this question using this formula or this formula. One thing is this. The other thing, this formula is very handy, easy to remember but it is applicable only and only in that case wherein my function is such that it is everywhere differentiable in its domain. That means either it should be exponential, differentiable in its domain, either logarithmic, differentiable in its domain, exponential, differentiable for all x belongs to r or constant or polynomial or so on. Not to every function you can apply this. But I would again advise you better remember these kind of formulas, these kind of standard results, they will quicken your calculation. If you don't, even you can go about solving by this or this formula. In the next video, we will see the application of this topic, we will see how to use this formula or the other one to find out the derivative of a polynomial function.